Now, I love word formation exercises. They're a great test of your vocabulary and your knowledge of language structure, of structures in language. And as I go through the answers, what I'll be doing is I'll be explaining why we're looking for this particular answer. So it's not unusual uh, to make a hobby part. So we've got usual here. Um, usual is an um, adjective here. It's the usual situation. Usual is an adjective. Uh, it is not unusual. Tricky this one. I'm glad it's an example um, because where we've got uh, the negative beforehand, you, it might lead you into thinking that you shouldn't use a negative beforehand. But if you read the context of the sentence, then actually you do need the negative form, so negative adjective, not the uh, not anything else. So this is a tricky question, and you should be glad it's the example. Uh, it's not unusual to make a hobby pay for itself, even if initially you had no something of turning it into a business. Two key clues here. First of all, there are a couple of keywords that if you have a gap after those words, you know what form, what type of words those are. And if you have a gap after no, then you know that the answer is going to be a noun of some kind. Almost 95%, even I'd go as far as 97% of the time, if you see no and there's a gap, what follows is going to be a noun. Also, the preposition that follows it, of, this is also indicative of the fact that there's going to be a noun beforehand. So you've got noun, preposition, collocation, and very often, uh, and you'll see this pattern time and time again on these word formation exercises. Uh, I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these word formation exercises, so I'd like to speak, I'd like to say that when something 99% uh, the case, really it is, when you say, when you see no plus a gap, it's going to be a noun. So what's the noun form of intend? Of course, our answer is intention. Let me just knock over a glass of water there. Uh, in Check if that's correct, and yes, it is. I'm glad that my spelling is on par today. Of uh, turning it into a business. For those looking to make a profit on their what? There. So we're looking for something that belongs to people, people plural. So this is going to be a noun of some kind as well. Uh, and we've got a couple of options here. We've got two nouns that we can create from create. We can either say creation or we can say creativity. But we've got to be careful here because we've got two indications of plurals here. So for those looking to make a profit on their creations. So we've got two possible answers here. Creations or indeed creativity. These days, uh, an audience for products can range from the local to the truly global. Some something begin by donating a piece of work to a charitable sale. So one key thing, of course, that you uh, shouldn't need saying, but I'll say it now, is that when you're doing these exercises, you have to read them through from, from the beginning to the end before you do, before you start answering the questions. And the reason is, is that the context tells you a lot. And here, if you just go some gap and you begin to deal with the answer, you miss the context that follows. And that context tells you that this must be a person. So what we need here is a personal noun, not just um, a normal noun. In fact, hobby is a noun. So, um, the, so but we need from this a personal noun. And of course, because we've got some, it has to be a plural form. So if I, my spelling is correct, hobbyists. Oh, no, got it wrong. There we go. Uh, there's a Y in there. Uh, hobbyists is our correct answer. Some hobbyists, plural personal noun, begin by donating a piece of work to a charity sale just to see how quickly and what it sells. What kind of word are we looking for here? Well, we've got another clue here. We've got the conjunction and, and before the conjunction, we've got an adverb. Now, and very, very often joins the same type of word. So if you see a word and and gap, particularly if it's an adjective or it's an adverb and sometimes with nouns as well, then this is a first good clue that it needs to be an adverb. And also the other thing about adverbs is that adverbs modify verbs. 
and the verb that this will be modifying is sells. So how quickly it sells and how profitably it sells. Let's check our answer. Good, I managed to spell that one correct. Let's move that up there. Local shops can be, getting back to the text, local shops can be the next outlet for items, often the set taken, the step taken by those making things like handmade greeting cards, for instance. And for the truly ambitious, websites like eBay enable the hobby, hobbyist, there's a spelling mistake there, not just me that makes mistakes, hobbyists to reach a something audience. Now, here it's an absolute gimme. We've got um, an article before the gap, we know if we see an article there must be a noun. After the gap we can see our noun. So what is this word? It has to be an adjective, an adjective which modifies the noun. So if we have a look at the uh, word that we're given, it's world. The adjective that we need is worldwide. And I'm glad to see that Okay, there we go, I managed to get that one correct. Um, can you spell it with a hyphen? I think if you spell it with a hyphen, that should be fine. But uh, our adjective is worldwide. Uh, as with any business idea, an honest what should be the undertaker. And so what we can see here is the same idea, just with different language, uh, just with a different word. So we've got an article. With an article, we need a noun. We don't have the noun, but we have an adjective. Adjectives modify nouns. So it's clear that we need a noun in this gap, both because the adjective modifies a noun and because the article needs a noun. So our uh, word that we're given is a praise, which is a, for, um, which is a verb. So our noun answer will be appraisal. And let's hope I spelled that one wrong. Uh, Jake. There we go, I managed to get it correct. So, and also to remember, if we're using a or an, this can't be plural forms, so it has to be a singular form of the noun. So, as with any business idea, an honest appraisal should be undertaken regarding the demand for the work and the price the customer is prepared to pay in, in what? Just as, if I take you back to question number one, just as where you have no and a gap, it's going to be a noun, or 99% is going to be a noun. If you have in followed by a gap, that is also, based on my experience, 99% going to be a noun. And that's exactly what it is in this case. And so the answer that we're looking for here is in reality. However, do not forget the degree of personal what as well. Personal is an adjective. Adjectives have to modify nouns. We don't have a noun in this sentence, so this gap must be a noun. What's the noun form of satisfy? Satisfaction. I can't get no satisfaction, and we are correct. So we managed. We went through that quite quickly, but you can go it. You can go through it quite quickly if you break down the text in the way that I did. So if you're looking for uh, repeatable patterns, you're looking for what kind of word you need because of the language which is around it, and of course you have to have the vocabulary behind it. But if you don't have the vocabulary, but you have a good understanding of language and that CAE advanced level you should have. So if you don't if you're not familiar with the word, you might be able to get it if you can think of popular uh, suffixes or prefixes to form different forms of verbs. Uh, of words, sorry. 